Hello again. This is part two, just because I'm not done playing. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit too. I love you guys. I'm glad you're here. Um, not sure what I want to do, but I want to do something. And cleaning off my palette knife is probably the start. Maybe putting a little bit of black and white cell activator along with some gold. The white is plugging up again. So there's black and white. I am inclined to put down some Rhapsody Rose. And I like that, so I might do it again. Let's just use what I've got left on my card for right now. I want a much bigger spatula. I'm not sure that's going to work though, so I'll just be good. Oh, I think I just found my plug in my cell activator. Let's try it without the gold, although no, I like the gold. I'm sticking with the same formula. Rhapsody Rose on deck. There, I don't mind that. Let's use the extra. Right there. I wanted some black in here, so maybe I'll just use it. Let's try it alone once and see what happens. Because there's a really good chance it may sell anyway. And if it doesn't, fine. Go back to the white, and now that it's flowing freely, and the gold. I want to put some paint right on the canvas, I think. And try it that way. And maybe some other colors. I wish I could force myself to be a little careful <laughs> because I'm in danger of making mud places. Let me use my rag. My studio rag is just a cotton piece of damp cotton t-shirt. All right, I'm going to try some of the orange peel. Where though? Maybe I'll try some of the abalone in the orange peel. I've got some dots over here. I'm going to do something right there. And I think it's going to be with the white and the black and the Rhapsody Rose again. But this time I'm going to put the Rhapsody Rose right on the abalone. I've got a lump of something right there. I do like sticking my card down and pulling it up and, and seeing what I reveal when the paint starts to get sticky. It's a lot like balloon rolls, I think. But it's not an immediate thing necessarily. I'm getting awfully complicated, I believe. craving some yellow and I think it's going to have to be Tuscan Sun because I don't think that the Mayan gold is really doing it for me. But like the other bottles when I started this, it was plugged for a second. 
I hope this works. Yes, that is exactly what I want. That and a better studio rag. Which I'm going to give myself right here, right now. So let's do the Tuscan Sun a bunch of places that seem right to me. And then I will decide what I want to do from there. I imagine I'm going to get some green. I'm trying to imagine what other color to add and I think it's the crab apple. Part of me just thinks that um, this would be cool to add black and swipe out parts, like cover them up, add negative space. I'm still not beyond it. That could happen. But in order for, for me to do that, I really need to um, put some black down. I've got some. I think that's... Come on, bottle, move out of the way. Okay, that's what I need right there. That is Meaden. And I kind of want some smaller marks. That's looking really thick. I could be wrong about that. That could be pillow paint. But I do like the black. Let's try the other one and make sure. No, that one's not open. Well, it will be in a second, I think. Yep. That's definitely pillow paint. In the long run, it doesn't... A few pieces of black paint won't make any difference. Got a lot of colors on here. But I am liking the impact that the black is making. I just gotta keep going until I feel like I've accomplished. Basically, I got rid of the white canvas. not maybe my best choice of stick either because it's not really flat put that someplace I can get to it this reminds me of some other things I've done that I'm not always happy about <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I thought I might do, which is put some black in the dish and give it a shot.
I know I'm quiet. I don't know what to say about that. It is getting more interesting. I was a little worried. Okay, I was a lot worried. I think the marks will make it. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure. Or fairly certain. Do I sound certain? <laughs> There's a lot going on. I know, I'm re being repetitious as a son of a gun. sure about those marks down here. They're not that hard to get rid of either. Just leave some in the background. And I do love being able to scrape down and reveal colors. I think it's really cool. So whatever I haven't told you guys, what could it be that I have, uh, that my link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist, Fluid Art Studio, Appreciation Group. I still like the, the somewhat, somewhat still visible round marks. And this was great therapy. Oh, that's cool. I think that's it, or very nearly it. This is bugging me, that one dot. Now it's a line. <laughs> Not sure it's gonna bug me any less. All right, as busy as that is, it's also really cool. And I have Cleaned off my card on my edges, so my painting goes pretty much all the way over. Have I told you guys I love you lately? I love you. You inspired the heck out of me. This was a weird day, and painting helped me out immensely. So I recommend starting, doing whatever you got to do, and not letting it get you down, and just having fun. Now I'm going to zoom in again, because that's kind of exciting. Looks like there's a lot going on there, and the colors didn't turn too muddy either, which is pretty cool, except for that one spot right there, which I'm going to do something about right now. Right now. <laughs> and there's only a little yellow, but there's enough. That's some... Um, She just can't stop. I love taking the residual paint from one place and putting it in another. I cannot help myself. Okay. So, unexpected part two. Happy conclusion. At least for me. 
So I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time. Um, 2.15 p.m. <laughs> and I've done things like this before, but uh, it's an acquired taste, but I like it. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. Look on my community board to see what tomorrow's video is. My link tree will have Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio, Appreciation Group. And uh, please give me a thumbs up. When you share my videos, you help me out. If you'd like to be a member, you can pay $9.99 a month and have access to over 60 videos that are for members only. Spring clothing below the video along with the Gallerist and Society6, as well as FineArtAmericaPixels.com. If you can't find what you're looking for on my link tree by looking at those links and or my website is also there, uh, you can ask me and I can add, add stuff. I do sell my artwork. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and uh, I love you guys. This reminds me of a watercolor by a guy that I respected greatly, my parents, and I visited and took a watercolor workshop with. I don't know why it reminds me of watercolor, but the colors are fantastic. I highly recommend the Harvest Moon selections 1 and 2 primary elements. Don't forget this 20% off coupon code and don't forget I have an Amazon link and if you want to find my two books they are there on that Amazon link called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. Uh, <laughs> my timer's going off so you're going to be gone in a second. Thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting and thank you for your kind words and your comments of appreciation. They keep my morale boosted and I really so appreciate that. Whatever I've forgotten you'll see on another video. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask them. I'm happy to help you out. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I think I mentioned that twice now. But um, I'll see you guys in on. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out.